ask the questions if you don't mind. Yes, of course. Um, <clears throat> so, um, when did you decide to turn your personal crisis into a documentary film? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that's a good question. Um, it was the puppets arriving in the house um, and uh, all sitting there with faces and you know, histories and uh, this expectation, you know? So, um, yeah, it was their idea. <laughs> um, and, uh, and the personal prize, it, it was cathartic, and I decided the film is self-funded as well. It was mainly my adventure, and I, for it to be in a film festival is just you know, way more than I ever expected, and I'm so happy it is. Um, but I did it, I, I did it for the fun of the doing, and, um, and so, yeah, the fact that I'm sharing with so many people is, you know, slightly unexpected, because I, all those videos are, you know, no one was watching, and now they are. <laughs> it's, 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 I'm very glad that, yeah. Does anyone have any questions? Yes. Much of the time when you're interacting with the puppets, notice that you're laughing. Mm. Is that is that like a dramatic technique, or are you generally laughing at what just came out of your brain? Is it <laughs> <laughs> Did everyone hear that question? The, the question is when Nina's interacting with Loki and some of the other puppets, she's she's often laughing. Is it is it a dramatic technique, or is it are you generally surprised by what um, they're saying? It's not exactly surprised, but I will never stop finding. Well, I do silly. And so I just find it silly, you know, it makes me laugh. And then when they say things, you know, I'm just looking and just saying, what am I doing? What is he saying? <laughs> so and the laughs are kind of, uh, you know, I'm afraid it's genuine. It's a full of myself, I think. But it's also a technique when I do it on stage, you know, I've heard those lines hundreds of times. So it's, yeah, there's that too. Yes. Were those all uh, Charlie McCarthy uh, dummies at Bent Haven, or were, or were they just lookalikes? Uh, no, they're, they're not all Charlie McCarthy, but they, they, there is a similarity, I suppose, with the wooden heads. But um, no, they're, they're everywhere. I mean, there's all there's a documentary in Bent Haven on its own because each one of those puppets has a has a history. And uh, you know, there's some that have come from one. One was carved in a concentration camp. And, and one was, it, some survived a shipwreck, but the, you know, because they were buoyant, but the, the, the <laughs> 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 yes? Could you tell us a little bit more about the inspiration, about how Ken chose this for you, or you mm. chose it together, or? We saw that the National Theatre, he put on a history of ventriloquism show. How did you find each other through ventriloquism? So the question is, uh, could Nina please talk about uh, a little bit more how Ken led her or introduced ventriloquism to her, or how they came together? And... Well, our relationship was before the ventriloquism. The ventriloquism was sort of the legacy of that relationship in a strange way. I. Uh, when I stopped uh, being with Ken, and I stopped working with Ken, who's a director mainly, I went to the Royal Shakespeare Company and I was working there as you know, a serious actress. And I think it was his mischief that he was just thought he was getting too mainstream, you know, to subvert that. Um, and uh, he sent a teach yourself on children <coughs> kit to the stage door. And um, I wasn't getting on with the voice department at the Royal Shakespeare Company, and he said, you know, if you want to really learn about voice, become a ventriloquist because they're the real hack for that. So, um, uh, yeah, I'm not impressed. I've certainly got one question. Oh, was that a question? The question was, how did, did how he get me to be a yes. Yeah, yeah, so he bought me that. He also always said to me that I was a clown that didn't want to wear the nose. And so he thought this was perfect for, for that. And he was right, you know, it was, that was, yeah, it came very naturally. You know? I like being a clown, but not looking like that. <laughs> yes. Now, I wonder if you can uh, expand a little bit. Did you script it, the, the film at all? I mean, I know it's documentary, but did you in your mind or write it? In, in my mind, I knew. Oh, yes, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to answer the question. Um, and the question was 
did did she did Tina script it or was some of it sort of mapped out in her mind or was it a lot of it ad lib? What was the process? Um, the there was the, well I knew that that Jack Buffett was going to be trouble um, <laughs> and I knew. Uh, the, the granny, yeah, I, I knew who the characters were going to be in, so I knew what likely roles they were going to play in this journey. So, it, it, so far as the scenes and what might happen, what, what I might talk about with that puppet, I had an idea. But, you know, like, words um, were advised. And finally, uh, the decision of naming uh, mm. one of the, the granny is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but I've had a duplicate made, and I've used her today now, and I've, I've put her into live shows now, um, because, yeah, that's, that's sort of spoils it maybe, but it, I, I just really like that character, so I had to make an exact one from the mold, and I, yeah, she's, she's alive and well. <laughs> yes? How instrumental was um, the... the Faking a monkey's death in making you decide to continue. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was it that made you decide to continue? Uh, yeah, the decision is uh, the decision. The question is how instrumental was monkey's death in, in allowing you to continue, or you know what really what, what if not and what was it exactly that? Um, yeah, the, the monkey's death was just me being sick. I mean, <laughs> it's my favorite. Seen him on the wheel. Um, so, uh, but um, I know that, I, I mean, that stage, that scene, by a monkey, you know, and so I, but I know that I would be genuinely upset if, I, if that happened to my only monkey. Um, but the thing that made me, and I genuinely was worried before this film, uh, before I made this film, what I was going to do with Ventura, because I thought we'd come to the end of that road. And, uh, but making the film and talking to all the puppets and finding new characters and realizing that I could improvise with them was huge. And so then I decided to carry on. And so now I used to do a very scripted act, but now I, I um, now I'm off script and I talk to the audience and all that sort of thing. Is that a good cue to get monkey out? Yeah. <laughs>
be on TV there, but uh, you know, America, we need everyone with a nice background. I think we have time for one last question, yes. Is there a website we can follow the details and find out when it's available? Yes, I think it'll be available by October probably. Um, but uh, the website ninacoggy.co.uk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Nina.